Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a MariaDB server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed MariaDB server with MySQL Workbench and Hedy SQL. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete before moving on to configuration. Now once the subscription validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration which is going to bring you to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this launches the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as MariaDB. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And then scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our RDP connection of our virtual machine. And then you can leave the network settings as default. And when satisfied, simply click on launch instance to actually create this virtual machine. So wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the virtual machine has been deployed, the next step is to connect to it using the, an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on view all instances. And as you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So wait for a while so that it changes its state from pending to running. Now once in the running state, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then head over to the RDP client tab. Now as you can see that we have the public DNS, the username but we do not have the password. So to get the password simply click on get password and then it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. So click on browse and choose your key pair. After that, simply click on decrypt password and you would be provided with your password to log in into RDP connection. So now hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and in the computer field simply copy this public DNS and paste it in front of it. And then click on show options, copy this username and paste it in front of the username field. After that simply click on connect and then it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it in this password field and then click on OK. After that, it is going to prompt you, so click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been fully established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now this image comes with pre-installed MySQL Workbench and Hedy SQL so that you can access and manage your MariaDB. Now to access your MariaDB using MySQL, simply open a MySQL Workbench from the desktop. And in this MySQL Workbench, simply click on this local instance MySQL button and you would be able to access your MariaDB. However, it is asking you for the password. Now, the password for the root user is actually this virtual machine's instance ID. Now to get this ID, simply minimize this connection and you have this instance ID written right over here. So copy it, head back in the connection, paste it as a password and then save password in vault and then click on OK. Now you can access your MariaDB using MySQL Workbench. Now you can view the schemas over here, you can run the MySQL queries right over here and you can create new databases from over here. Anyways, we'll talk more about this but let's just talk about how to access MariaDB using Hedy SQL. So double click on Hedy SQL icon from the desktop and then click on new. After that, make sure that the port number is set to 3306. Now the username is root and the password is again the virtual machine's instance ID. So paste that over here as well and then click on open. Now this is going to establish a connection between Hedy SQL and MariaDB. And just like in MySQL Workbench, you can run the queries from here. You have the schemas or databases right over here. Now let's talk about creating databases using Hedy SQL. So to create a database, we can simply come over to this query page and type in like create database and then a name for the database. Let's just go with demo one. And if I want to create this, I'll click on this arrowhead icon, which is going to execute my SQL. So as you can see that the SQL was executed. Now to show all of these databases, we can run the command show databases and again execute the query. And as you can see that our demo one database has been created. Now in case you want to manage users using Hedy SQL, then simply click on this icon. From here, you can manage the users 
like you can even edit the root user you can create new users by simply clicking on this add button right over here and if you want to do the same stuff using mysql and by the way since we have created a new database using head sql so i'm going to restore my session so close it and open up a new session so i can create a new database in mysql workbench by simply clicking on this button that says create a new schema and then i'm going to name this schema or this database as demo2 and then click on apply apply and then finish now as you can see that we have created another database which is named as demo2 now if i want to manage users using mysql workbench then i need to come over to administration from right over here and then go to users and privileges and suppose that you want to change the password for the root user so simply click on root and come over to this password and change it to something that you like retype it to confirm it and then click on apply to apply these changes and just like that you have changed the password for the root user now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for amazon web services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up mariadb on amazon web services and finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel